Hey, I'm John Morello, Twist Like CTO. This week at DockerCon, one of the most popular questions that we're getting, or most common questions we're getting, is like, what's different about securing containers versus securing like, you know, virtual machines or the environment that I've been running for some time? So one of the things I want to talk to, to, to customers about frequently is, what are those differences there? Like, what's unique about containers versus that, that traditional model? And so we kind of frame it the idea of old world and new world security. If you think about old world security, the way that I would have deployed and, and protected an application I built that was running on virtual machines, there was a lot of manual activity that was required. You know, if I'm a developer and I'm building some, some new app on WordPress, for example, I'm going to sit down with my security team and I'm going to tell them, like, you know, this front end runs this version of Apache and it connects to this back end server over this IP address, which listens on this port. And you know, if my security team is really on the ball, they're going to go to an IDS and they're going to set up some rules there to monitor the processes. They're going to do some host firewall. They're going to set up different rules to allow what traffic's going to flow there. But invariably, regardless of what I'm doing, those rules are going to effectively rot over time, right? My application is going to change, and the rules I created yesterday are not going to be the rules that are going to be effective for me tomorrow. And so what most organizations end up doing is kind of throwing their hands up and, and really relying on more of a perimeterized version of security where you know, they're protecting the firewall, but they're doing very little to protect the application specifically, at least in an application-centric way. Containers have a few things that are very different, though, a few characteristics that are different that really allow us to do a lot more application tailored protection. Remember, containers are very minimalistic, you know, as opposed to a VM that does all kinds of things, it's got a full OS and agents and so forth that are inside of it. You know, containers are typically a very lightweight uh, entity that does a specific process. And so it's a lot, it's a lot smaller surface area for us to discover. That surface area is also a lot more transparent. You know, like there's a Docker file that you use to build that container or that build that image. And so we understand really definitively everything that should be going on inside of that, the processes that should run, the sockets that might be exposed on it and so forth. And containers are run in an immutable fashion. In other words, when I deploy that container, I'm not gonna SSH to it later to upgrade the application. I'm gonna destroy that container and redeploy a new version of the image that has the upgrade to the application. And what that enables us as a security company to do is to really have a lot greater degree of automation about how do we discover what the application should do and how do we build an application protection profile that's really uniquely tailored to that specific version of the app. So instead of in the old world model, how you might have to go and sit down with a human being and, visually and verbally describe how the application behaves, we're able to do all that through analysis and through machine learning. So we're able to discover that this application runs on a particular port, you know, it communicates with this backend database, it runs a particular version of Apache that has this particular checksum. We build all this, this knowledge into what we call a model. And that model describes the way that the application works across four dimensions, file system, network, process, and system call. And that model is effectively an explicit whitelist. And that what we do is, rel is uh, monitor everything that the containers are doing at runtime relative to what the model predicted. So if the model for this particular version of your application says that it should run a version of Apache that has you know, a checksum of ABC123 and it listens on port 80, if suddenly we see any other process running or anything listening on a different socket or a different version of an application listening on port 80, we know those are all anomalies and we can stop that activity or alert on it so that you can take action and investigate it. But the real innovation here is the fact that we're able to create that model without any human interaction required. So you no longer have to sit down with your security team and describe how the application works. The very first time we see that app, which might be part of the CI process, we begin building that model. And those models are always correlated back to the specific digest of the application. So for every build you do of your app, we create a unique uh, model that's correlated to that specific version. So as you re uh, revise your app and ship new versions of it, the model is always fresh and it's always in sync with what you're building your application. And so that difference between old world and new world security we think is really fundamentally important, not just to help you scale and to help you be able to, to manage the large number of entities and the change of those entities that you see with containers, but also to really give you a much better way of protecting your applications in an application tailored way, not purely in a perimeterized network approach. Thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you that are customers, we really appreciate your business and, and it's been an honor to, to be able to serve you. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Twistlock, visit twistlock.com where you can get a free evaluation. You can download our free developer edition and we'd be happy to work with you to see how Twistlock can help solve the security problems in your environment.